In order to remove a bottom base, I will use a Torx 5 screwdriver to remove 10 screws. Now I will use a guitar stick to take off the bottom cover. Basically, let's try, try to pray it from the top. Then slide it on the sides. Going in here. Yeah. Now I have to disconnect the battery and in order to disconnect it I need to lift this connector up by using a spludger on both sides. And to take off the battery you need to remove one, two, three screws. Now I will turn this around. As you can see it has a solid state drive which can be upgradable if you want to upgrade to the larger size. Okay. But the actual RAM memory can't be upgraded because it's soldered to the board. Okay, so let's take out the board of this unit. Actually, let's take out everything of this unit, okay? So I'm gonna start with the solid state drive first. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver because there is only one screw. Just lifting this up and just gently slide it out. So next I can see there is a Wi-Fi card down there. I'm just going to gently peel this tape. So one, yeah, it doesn't hold very tight. So these are the Wi-Fi antennas. Basically, you just put the splodger underneath and just lift it up. Okay, I'm going to use a Phillips screwdriver as well to take this Wi-Fi card off and again gently just slide it out. Next I will I want to take off the fan so I'm just gonna take off the Wi-Fi and then the cable. So now I want to disconnect the fan connector itself. So the fan connector sits here, just gently disconnect it. Also, I want to disconnect this cable here as well, because this one goes first out. And this is for a speaker, okay? So now let's unscrew the fan and have fan out. Okay, next what we can do, we can take off the speakers. Huh? And we're stuck here, we can't take the speakers because there is a flex cable connected. So basically we just pull this one up, disconnect the flex cable and we can take out our speakers. So now let's disconnect keyboard flex. I think there's gonna be a keyboard backlight. Then we have a... Then disconnect this flex. Then this one. Going all the way around, you can see we have a LCD cable. So just peel this one on the side, lift this one up, gently put the splodger underneath and just 
make sure it won't damage this cable because it is glued with adhesive okay this one's loose I'm going round you can see another one flex cable here Let's disconnect this one and I can see another one is connected to the daughter board so let's disconnect this one as well and this one is glued as well okay so now I will start from this end so first I'm gonna remove these two screws then I'll take this one off this one off let's go all the way around I can see another one here going here I can see another one there and now let's try to lift the board up yep so we have the board out of the unit Now I will take out the daughter board. Just again, unplug the flex cable first. Removing three screws. And we have the daughter board out. Okay, so basically it's audio and USB board. Okay, the next thing what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna unscrew the screen itself from the palm rest so basically I'm just opening it up putting this on the side of the table and now I can unscrew the, screw, the hinge screws okay so it's one two three on one side and one two three on the other side and I can lift the screen up okay, this one goes there so now I have the screen separate from the palm rest and what I want to do now I want to take out the touchpad okay so in order to take out the touchpad I need to peel this film first so just using the splodger yeah? just peeling it carefully because we have flex cables here make sure don't damage them off now let's use the visas we have one screw here and another one there here this one up and push it down And we have a touchpad out so the keyboard is riveted to the actual palm rest so we can't take out the keyboard unless you want to melt or want to cut these rivets so the only two things left now is camera and the power on button so let's take out the camera first Here we got a camera unit and the power on button 
let's see, play it for the power button. And that's the button itself. Let's push it from the bottom. And we have the power button. And that's all. Thank you for watching.